It has been far too long since I last recorded anything, so let's have a little fun. This video is a little old, but MTV. No, it's not Lacey Green, don't worry, I'm not going to do her for a while, I hope. It's not that bad. At least I'm back. Come on, don't turn off. Yo, please. Uh, and six already left. Your name is your identity. No, my name is my identification. My identity is who I am. However, what you seem to think is your identity is what you are. Who I am is an asshole with a sarcasm problem who likes to look things up all day every day and record my stupid voice over this stupid machine. Yes, I'm calling my own brother stupid. You did the same thing probably five minutes ago. It's something you're supposed to take pride in and feel ownership of. In your name? Something you can change legally? For about 50 bucks, maybe? Why would you feel pride in that? You didn't accomplish anything. You're supposed to feel pride for what you accomplish. But when teachers, coworkers, and friends constantly screw it up and don't even try to get it right, you correct them and move on. Adapt and thrive. That is how life works works. That can really change how someone feels about their place in the world. If someone pronouncing your name wrong makes you feel like less of a person, you are seriously fucked up and you need psychological help. So we decided to talk to a few people that have first-hand experience with this. HAL 9000 is not the name I was given originally. It is not the name I was given when I was first forged. In Atlantis, for the fleeting moments of their short existence, I was Hiram Taj Huhal. Yeah, good luck pronouncing that when it's spelled in Latin. My name is Reka Shankar. Whoever translated that name from its original language to English screwed it up royally. I'm going to tell you that right now, because in American English, that would be pronounced Rika. However, with your pronunciation of it, it should be spelled R-A-E-K-A, -E possibly else if it had accents in it. It's the same situation with the word Sequoia in how it's spelled directly translated from Cherokee to English. It's spelled one way. But with its pronunciation, you spell it a different way. Does this make sense yet? Of course it doesn't. Not Rika, not Rekka, and definitely not Rachel. But How do you spell it exactly then? Because from what it looks like you're doing, you're spelling it how people are pronouncing it. But the spelling is very important. You are translating it into American English. What are the letters you are using for your name? Blame your parents, not the people reading English. My name is Juan Gico, so that's like a number one, and a letter G, and co like company in one word. So, so essentially, your parents wanted to sound like they were from Africa despite never speaking any African languages, and there are a lot of them, by the way. So they took a bunch of sounds that might have worked together and slapped them together and told you, that's your name. You people have terrible parents. And what's even worse is you are terrible people for caring so much. This is why nicknames are around. This is why I call Dave, Dave. This is why everyone has that cute little name they call their partner. Because names are just identification, but these little nicknames are personal. One G code.
Yeah, your parents have never spoken any African language ever. They just wanted to sound African, which is really, really cliche. Not only cliche, it's stereotypical. So congratulations, your parents are literally coons right now. My name is Momo Puje, not Momor Paye, not Mumo Puje, not Mamu. It's Momo Puje. It's What? So simple. My name is Mamadou, not Armadillo, not Marmaduke, not Mumu, not Mumam, Mamadou. Honestly, to me, that is a simple name, so I don't see why people would mispronounce it, assuming that first way he spelled it was the proper way to spell it, but, you know, keeping in mind the accents of most Americans, and there are like four dialects of English in the United States alone. If you want to say my name correctly, it's Maritza Montañez, but you can just say Maritza Montañez. Okay, now this one I don't have a problem with. See, she's actually accepting nicknames because the accent makes it pronounced different. This person's okay on my list, but I'm pretty sure she's going to do some stupid bullshit. And that's the anglicized, easy version that you should be able to say. Pe Bitch, you sound like you're in tears because of this. Man up. People mispronounce my name, uh, seven days a week. In Suck it up, Nancy, or come up with a nickname they can remember. Sixth grade, my English teacher mispronounced my name for an entire year. I have never had a human pronounce my name correctly. Why do you think I came up with HAL 9000 after 2003? Open mic is just like Matt, 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 Jim, Matt, then Mumo. This is like, get the f out of here. I believe I just pointed this out, but if people are mispronouncing your name, either tell them consistently the correct way to pronounce it, or come up or earn a nickname. Preferably the latter, given how butthurt you are. I have to introduce myself with a little mnemonic, like, I'm Reika, you know, like, Rake, as in the thing for leaves. And I still get my name mispronounced, even with the mnemonic. When if I have to say, suck it up, Nancy, once more, I'm just gonna end this video, because it is repetitive as fuck. Somebody actually gives me that question, like, hey, am I saying this correctly? Immediately, I want to marry them. So, you simply don't correct people, then? unless they ask to be corrected. You are enabling stupidity. You just be like, oh, they said Maritza. That's so exciting. And your life is just very sad. Honestly, you sound like you're going to cry. Man up. That's how low the bar is. That's how many people have mispronounced my name and didn't care about it. And because of this, you will meet people who intentionally mispronounce your name. When you show weakness, when you show a reason for you to get on edge, people will pounce. Animals by nature will take out the weak to climb upon their bodies to get higher. So there's a bunch of different types of mispronouncers. There's the gracious mispronouncer, somebody who's trying their best and is gonna keep trying. And if everyone did that, oh, it'd be great. We'd... What the hell are you talking about? You would still be crying, you little punk ass bitch. I'll be in such a better place. There's... I'm gonna have to agree with St. Clair when he says, you sound incredibly weak, and I do not like that about you. The mumblers that kind of start and then trail off into the distance. Mar Mar Fuck it, I'm skipping to the motherfucking end of this shit storm. You don't get to assign me a nickname. That's How do you think nicknames work? Anything you assign yourself is very unlikely to stick. 
You know what people call Dave who aren't me? They call him Daffy. You know why? There are several reasons. Most people just don't like him like they don't like Daffy Duck. There's also his great aunt from South Korea who tried to say Davy and it came out as Daffy and it stuck. Nicknames are what people who like you give you. If you don't like it, correct them until they get it right. If that never happens, you can just suck it up, you sissy. Then there's the whatever people. These people don't care about your name at all. That would describe me. I stopped caring. Now I'm actually actively looking for ways to piss you off. We're definitely not going to be friends. I already don't like you, so this is not good. If we mutual then. When you get your name mispronounced all the time, it makes you feel like less of an individual. If that is what makes you feel like less of a person, you are nothing at all. You are the epiphany of weakness and shriveled mentality. You are an infant. If you don't say my name correctly, it's basically like saying, I don't care about you as a person. I don't care about you as a person, but I will care about you as a human, and you put way too much weight on your name alone. Something that is only a way to identify you. It is only to distinguish you from every other human, and you all look exactly alike to me. If you are so focused on one aspect of how people identify you, not on who you are, you will end up in a deep pit of depression all your life. Do not focus on this shit. It is nothing. Just how people recognize you from the guy next to you. But that's just my take on it. Like it or not. You can find me on Twitter at OdysseusPC or you can email me with any complaints or concerns at how 900000 at gmail.com All written out except for the three zeros. Don't like it? Don't like me? Well, that's your problem. I'm just here to give you the cold, hard facts.